Welcome to The Voice of Seven Thunders, a production of the Gospel Trumpet Publishing Company. And we are back with our series on apostles. Amen. And um, Brother Addison, why don't you get us introduced again and get us started? Yes, so we are doing a series on biblical proofs of modern day apostles. Um, so this will be the second installment. And the subject we'll take up today is how are apostles chosen? Or particularly in the Bible as we read it, how were apostles chosen? And so, again, Brother Steve's going to help us with that. And, uh, Brother, go ahead. Brother, in our podcast on what is an apostle, we dealt with some of this, and some of this will very obviously overlap. Mm -hmm. But we will give just the plain biblical account of how apostles are chosen. And so follow along with us as usual in the Bible. We'll begin in Galatians chapter number 1. And I would like to read verse number 15. Galatians chapter 1 and verse number 15, the burden, how are apostles chosen. actually chosen? Okay, very good. So someone please read that. But when it pleased God, yes. who separated me from my mother's womb mm -hmm. and called me by his grace yes, brother, keep to reveal his son in me that I might preach him among the heathen, immediately I conferred not with flesh and blood. All right, so we just entered into a reading right in the middle of chapter number 1 to bring the point that when it pleased God, this is according to God's will, that God had separated the Apostle Paul here from his mother's womb. So how does it work? How are apostles chosen? Well, here we have a plain text. They're separated from their very mother's womb, which mm -hmm. of course makes sense to me, because why not their creator would be the one, it why wouldn't them. their creator be the one that separated them? Yes. Because he knows for what, for what purpose he created them. That's right. Okay, so they're separated from their mother's womb. Verse 16 also gives us some insight here to what an apostle is created for to reveal his son, son in me. Mm -hmm. And so there's a full revelation in the apostolic gifting that is to be given out mm. from that gifting. Of the son. Of the son, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And uh, excellent. So let's go back to verse one of chapter one, Galatians one and one. Paul, <clears throat> an apostle. Yes not of men, neither by man, okay. but by Jesus Christ and God the Father, who raised him from the dead. This is a beautiful text. The Apostle Paul making it very clear for anyone so no one has any trouble. He's got God the Father. He's got Jesus Christ. He's saying this is not of men. I'm an apostle, says the Apostle Paul, not of men. Men didn't make me this way. I didn't go to a seminary. I've not been educated by men, but Jesus Christ by him and God the Father who raised Jesus Christ from the dead. So here we see God the Father, Jesus Christ, and they are the ones that have made him an apostle separated from his mother's womb to very that good. work. Very First good. Corinthians chapter number 12. First Corinthians 12. And I want to read verse 18. When the, uh, I'll say this to the audience. When they get an opportunity, just read chapter 12. It's excellent, but we're going to get some can high I, points. Can I just add something very quickly? Please, just please to do. show that this, this is language that is common in the scripture. Mm -hmm. So Jeremiah said, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before yes. thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. So this principal idea that we're reading here in Galatians chapter 1 about the Apostle Paul's calling is not new or something that's new to the scriptures. Mm -hmm. God really has always, listener, <laughs> you are called Absolutely. from the foundation of the world to mm -hmm. be in Christ. Mm -hmm. Everybody, the creator has selected for everybody their purpose and path in life. And that's all here that the scripture is trying to teach us here mm -hmm. in, in, in this language that we have here. So excellent. Very good. I thought that may be help, helpful because as we deal with this topic of apostles, brother, that's one of the things I thought about was there's a this kind of a mind frame in the world about apostles that as we touch this subject, a lot of people automatically right, right. are that's saying, good. wait, 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 wait. Mm -hmm. And we want to just show you very clearly, this is right here in the scripture. This is easy to understand. Yes, Absolutely. Yes. Brother, very good point. First Corinthians 12. Mm -hmm. And someone please read verse 18. Why don't you read that, brother? But now hath God set the members, every one of them in the body, as it hath pleased him. This same thing. Very good. is the exact same thing. You see, it's according to the will of God. It's according to his good pleasure. And he is the one that's actually doing the setting. Now, this, is, this setting of God is often given or try to be appropriated in the wrong setting. Okay. okay. Very good. Does that, does that yes. make sense? Yes, sir. So 
this, in order for this to happen, this has to be God's church. He's totally in charge. It's totally by his will, and he sets the members in the body as it pleased him. Now, please read verse 28 of the same chapter, 1 Corinthians 12, 28. And God hath set some in the church. Yes. First, apostles. Yes. Secondarily, prophets. Thirdly, teachers. After that, miracles. Then gifts of healings, helps, governments, diversities of tongues. Excellent. Again, when you get an opportunity, please read the entire chapter 12 of 1 Corinthians. But this is just making it very clear again that God has set some in the church. Mm -hmm. And the first <clears throat> thing that he set in the church is apostles. Yes. The first gifting, the first function, and the first office is apostles. That's very, very important. And again, it's mm -hmm. according to God's will. Ephesians chapter 4. I hope that the audience, as we turn to this next text, I hope that we are in, in creating more questions in your yes. mind. As we turn away from the text that we just read, the mm -hmm. question that comes to my mind is, why apostles first? Why is that even a necessity? Why does Paul give excellent an question. order to what mm -hmm. God has placed in the church Good. for another production? Yes. <laughs> well, yes, for another production, but we're going to delve into it slightly. <laughs> That's right. We'll delve That's into right. it slightly. Ephesians chapter 4 Verse 7, and all we're attempting to do is show by the scriptures that this is very clearly stated in the Bible. Apostles are in the Bible. They're chosen, separated from the womb. It's God's choice. God appoints them. God sets them in order. Yes, and then yes. we can get more practicality in terms of how this looks. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we're just establishing now how one becomes an apostle. Ephesians 4, verse 7, please. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. This is exactly what you, what you were saying uh, before. Unto every one of us is given grace. That's right. Every one of us has a special <clears throat> calling according to the gifting of the measure of Christ. Is that how it says that? Mm-hmm. Okay. So keep reading, please. If you would read verse 11. Let's skip to verse 11, Ephesians 4, 11. All right. And he gave some, mm -hmm. this measure of gift, this excuse me, yes. measure of grace, and he gave some, Apostles. Yes, that's a measure of grace, and that's first. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And some prophets, mm -hmm. and some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers. Yes, and then it goes on. It talks about for the perfecting of the saints. Again, another podcast we're dealing now with how are they chosen. And they're chosen by God from their mother's womb, set in order according to the gift of God, according to the measure that he has chosen to give them <clears throat> as their creator. Now... As we close, and we could do very many more uh, right, texts, but this right. is giving us a good foundational basis to know, look, God does this. Apostles are separated. They are there. <clears throat> it's a work of God. He sets them according to his pleasure. Now, as we close, we want to deal with the fact, just very briefly, that God has chosen apostles first. So they're chosen by God, set there in the body first. And one of the reasons is because as the apostles fulfill their apostolic office, then that fulfillment of that office and that gifting produces the very church that God is reigning over through mm, Jesus Christ. That's right. Very so good. it produces other giftings. In other words, the apostles are first. So apostles produce prophets, mm -hmm. produce evangelists, produce pastors and teachers yes, and singers and holy families. And they produce the entirety of the government of the church and all of its various functions through the preaching of the revelation of Jesus Christ that is in them. Mm -hmm. Very, Very good. good. Amen. Very good. Brother, anything to add? I don't close? this time. No. All right. You've Amen. been listening to another episode of The Voice of Seven Thunders, production of the Gospel Trumpet Publishing Company. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button down at the bottom of this video. For more content from the Church of God, you can find that at our website at www.churchofgod.com. Thank you for listening. May the Lord bless you.